Fritz's findings were based upon uh, material that was available uh, at a given time. And uh, by properly prepared, I mean that the vaccine is prepared in a way that is likely to be the most effective. It will have the greatest degree of potency. By proper use, uh, I suggest at the present time, the use of uh, two doses of vaccine, which should provide what we refer to as primary immunization, followed by a booster dose, not at five weeks, but at seven months to a year uh, after the initial inoculations. And vaccines, as they are now being prepared, I would consider uh, properly prepared, and by used uh, in accordance with the schedule, I would consider that properly used. Improved. Uh, I, I must add that uh, these are considerable improvements uh, over the way in which the vaccine was prepared and used a year ago. National Mr. O'Connor, now that the Salk vaccine report has been completed and found favorable, what is the future of the National Foundation? Well, after I heard this morning of what a great job the American people have done in this fight against polio, I think it would be tragic for them or anyone else to think that uh, this ends the fight against polio. We still have our patient aid program. We had 70,000 patients on our rolls the first of this year. We're not going to abolish polio in the next few minutes or the next few years. We're still going to have a patient aid program. We still have other work in scientific research in connection with this vaccine, in connection with a potentially live vaccine in the field of chemotherapy where we're trying to find a cure really for polio. And we have a big job ahead and it's going to cost money. And to, to think that this fight is over now uh, would be just uh, dropping the whip before the horse is under the wire. <laughs>